All right, come back to Final Fantasy fourteen. So let's talk to Meriweb here and see what's next on our list. Into the heart of the world. Oh, right, let's before we do that, pick on the sound. Meriweb is brooding over Leviathan's return into the heart of the world. Uh, though our plight cries out for action, we must take thought. As long as Leviathan remains in the open sea, he is effectively beyond our reach. Our fleets is second to none. Of that you may be sure. But Layman herself was struggling to best the lord of the world in his element. In a straight fight, he would make me and match wood of us. We need another planet. Much is plain. Let us return to Limonosa and see if we cannot think of one. I shall wait, wait you in the command room. All right, so the command room, we are headed. Do I sound a little different? I might. Where are we headed? We are headed. Not off the side there. To the command room. It should be right here. Yep. There we go. Xanthel. You're expecting a command room? Pray do not keep the Admiral waiting. Proceed to the command room? Yep. There used to be a hamlet beyond South Tidegate in Western Lanosha. Halfstone, it was called. Some years prior to the Maelstrom's founding, Leviathan rose from the briny depths and set about unleashing watery hell upon us. On that occasion, the company of heroes put him down before he could do too much damage. But when the bastard came next, this time in the wake of the Calamity, we were not so fortunate. Weary of ravaging our shoreline, he summoned a tidal wave which fair leveled Hearthstone and washed the soil away for good measure. The area was subsequently occupied by the Sahagin. Aye, the thrice damned creatures transformed it into a spawning ground for their brood. Given the quantity of crystals stolen to feed him and his legion of thralls, we can be fairly sure that Leviathan is stronger now than in his previous incarnations. If that sea demon is left to wreak havoc, what befell Hearthstone may well befall a larger settlement, even Limsa. That cannot happen. The primal must be stopped. That was ever our objective, Admiral. But how are we to achieve it? The sea is Leviathan's uncontested domain. The ships of the Third Squadron could not close to within a hundred yards of the Primal, nor could their cannons pierce his defenses.
I have read the reports, Master Thancred. Our warships may as well have been bloody pleasure barges for all the good they did. Seven Hells! Is there no way that we might strike back? The company of heroes defeated Leviathan, having first lured him into an inlet. But we must needs contend with him upon the open sea. It will avail us little to consult past experience. Admiral, if I may. Speak freely, Marshal. By all accounts, Leviathan's most formidable weapon is the very sea itself. Waves and whirlpools, tides and currents, all these things are his to command. The key to victory, I believe, lies in disarming our foe. This, in effect, is what the company of heroes achieve with their ruse. We cannot lure Leviathan from the sea a second time. But what if we could weaken his hold upon the element of water? I have heard of devices capable of such wonders. They draw upon the power of corrupted crystals, I am told. If mounted upon a ship, such a device might be used to prevent Leviathan from bringing the full force of the sea to bear against us, rendering him no more dangerous than any other sea serpent. Of course! Sid built a similar device to grant the Enterprise safe passage through Garuda's Tempest, did he not? Begging your pardon, my lady, but to give credit where it's due, this is something I heard from an old arcanist friend of mine. It makes little difference who thought of it first, so long as it works. Beg the specifications of this device from your friend, and I shall pass them on to our people at Naldic and Vermelis. But before we proceed any further, I would voice one concern. Piercing Garuda's defenses is one thing. Suppressing Leviathan's attacks, quite another. In matters of science, I am as a babbling babe, but I cannot well imagine that such a feat would be possible without a veritable mountain of corrupted crystals. The question being, do we have a ship big enough to bear such a burden? Mayhap not, Admiral, but too might. Recall you the tale of Mistbeard's greatest haul? It is said that he lashed two ships together, side by side, the better to bear his plunder. By your leave, we might attempt to repeat the trick. The gods know it would be quicker than building a new vessel. Mistbeer did this. Truly, Marshal, upon the subject of the Pirate King, you are as a scholar. Now, from what I have gleaned of these matters, the device will need to be in close and constant proximity to the target. To wit, we must lash our twin vessel to Leviathan. This in itself will be no small feat. Ramming speed will be required, but given the weight of the cargo, that will only be attainable with the aid of a towing vessel. Suffice it to say, the task of piloting said vessel will entail considerable danger, and I would not ask it of another. I volunteer myself. It will be dangerous for all involved, but we have no better recourse. Very well. Commodore. Assemble the remnants of the fleet at Moraby Bay. Give priority to our soundest vessels. The repairs can wait.
Storm Marshal Slafierson, command of the operation is yours. I want that twin vessel ready to sail post haste. At once, Admiral. And then there is the small matter of slaying the beast. The fate of Limsa Lominsa rests upon your shoulders once again. Go well, warrior of light. All right, so let's speak with you agree now. Your girly. What she got to say about all this? Uh, beings held as gods also exist in what you call the Far East. Legend tells us that they walked among us in days of yore. But I confess that I never truly believed them. That I should live to behold one is humbling and horrifying in equal measure. Now that I have come face to face with the primal, I do begin to understand why the Garlilians fear them so. What is it? A message, Admiral. I judged it best that it be delivered at once. I'm listening. According to the Yellow Jackets, a man has appeared who claims to have defeated Leviathan. One of the company of heroes. Uh, the details are yet hazy, Admiral. We have dispatched one of our own to question the, the individual. Hmm. I am disinclined to put any Thor by this claim. And even should it be true, it is a Ushala said. None say the company of heroes have bested Leviathan, and we know how they went about it. This man is of their number. What could he tell us that we do not already know? And yet, having waged limbs of survival on two ships, some rope, and a pile of crystals. Can we afford to ignore this man? If his testimony could yield us any manner of advantage, should we not hear it? Damn it all. The twin vessel will soon be ready. We have no time to wait for the Maelstrom's report on the supposed primal slayer's claims. Sick man, seek him out and learn what he knows. At the very least, we will spare you the torment of waiting for the reckoning in idleness. All right. The man you're looking for is believed to be a resident of the Grey Fleet in Lower Nosa. Storm Private sent question him should already be in the vicinity. May your journey through Ruth. All right, so let's go speak with the old boy. Go to Tokyo Del Sol. Play us a game of Triple Triad, then we'll head down. Oh, Geronimo over here has a card for us. Or well, maybe he'll give it a time. Right there. All swaps, sudden death. A blue turn. Go with that right there. I need an eight on the bottom. I don't have it. I do have a six. Go with that. Don't swap. How do I know this? How did I know?
and it's a draw, but it's sudden death. So we go again. Oh, that's a good one. Rock bottom. I do not. Can't do that for now. Okay, so one thing I can do to salvage it is this. And we win. And no car. Alright, moving on. So we need to head out south here. Head to the south and speak with a storm private. And boom. That's not him, it's probably inside. Yep, there he is. Let's get in our warrior. Oh, we are. Good. Alright, now look here, you. You have your bloody story, right after you carry those sacked brain over the mill. Oh, it's the liar again. But sir, that's what you said before, you had me pick those oranges for you. And before I mucked out the cuckoo tables, and before I rolled that millstone over to the mill. And also before... Yeah, it's a liar right there. Gods, man, I worked three days straight without a week of sleep. Three days. Do you hear me complain? Bah, I suppose some of us just ain't made for the rougher stuff. Alright, alright. I'll give you what you want. Never let be said that old Capitorum ain't a general soul. Now, secure up your ears, because I won't be repeating myself. You might have see. Besides, there's only so much epicness a man can take in one sitting. You king? <laughs> the tale of Tectorum's epic victory over the dread primal Levy beat this. Now, Levy beat this huge, make no mistake, to give you an idea how big each of his scales is about as wide across as me, members long. And that's no mean feat, let me tell you. When I fought him, I could barely see for all the brine he was peddling with me. Must have been a lagoon's worth at least. Even knocked me trusty axe out of me hands at one stage. Of course, that proved to be a grave mistake. <laughs> well, what happened next? Why, I grabbed him by the tail. And I tied him up in knots. But not wanting to take all the glory for myself, I let my mate and the company of heroes handle the rest. Like I said, I'm modest as well as heroic. And I have two modest. Now, there's some that say you can't never truly be beat Levy Beatus. That you've got to Learn to live with him and make the best of a bad situation. Not the company, though. Uh, 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 it, it, it's you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I was just enjoying the attention, is all. I take back everything I said. I was never part of the company of heroes. I'm no martyr. I'm actually a complete coward. I'm nothing. I'm a Kuboo Dum. No, I'm the maggots you find. Wiggling and Kuboo Dum. I have to lie to women to tumble them. And that don't happen much. My member's tiny, it's pathetic. <laughs> this guy right here. 
I'm sure as hell didn't fight Levy Beatus, but but I have seen him with me own eye. It was a fair few years back when I was working as a baker's hand. I was circling my duties one day, going about the harbor when I saw it. A great big massive sea serpent. I saw mounds off the coast with a fleet of galleons making straight for it. Cannons fire. I was so bloody scared, I sold myself right there and then. But, oh gosh, just remembering that day made me sore myself all over again. Hey, hey wait. You're here asking about Levy Beatus. It means you're planning to fight him, ain't you? Well, take care. He really is terrible. Dreadful, I tell you. If you're not careful, you end up in his skullet or at the bottom of the sea. Why you work this lying horse? I can't believe you made me handle Kokoboo Dog. Tap him with your act. Dick Man, this is Minifilla. We are able to learn all of the use against Leviathan. I beg your pardon, Levi Beatus. I see. That is unfortunate. At any rate, I have tidings for you. Twin vessel is now complete. We await you at the Mulberry Dry Dock. We're going to make your way here as soon as you are able. Alright, up, up, and away we go. Not get hit by these big. Which of who is there? Wait, there's the broad dogs. Let's go see what is cracking. Storm Marsher. I'm told your jaunt, the Grey Fleet, provided fruitless. My sympathies, lad. I'll wager it served to take your mind off the events of recent days, though. But enough of that nonsense. The moment of truth is upon you. Twin vessel, the whore better, I call her, is complete. And she surpasses all my expectations. In addition to her protege's tonnage, she has been fitted with a platform that you and yours might maneuver freely in battle. I would mention also that the ship is not unsinkable, but I am not one to tempt fate. The whore letter and her crew stand ready, my friend. Just give the word and we shall bear you to the Leviathan. And into the heart of the world is complete. Is this the boat? Not very impressive. Got two little things on it. We'll take a fly around, see if we can't find a big one. Maybe it's out of here. That boat's impressive. That's a big one. Well, maybe it's out to sea somewhere. Um, but in any event, thanks for joining me. My name's Dick, and we'll be back another day with another quest. Y'all take care.